Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to create an About Us page for your brand using Shopify. I'll be showing you how to lay out your About Us page, different touch points and subjects about your brand that you can include in your About Us page to help to make a good impression on your website visitors. And you can follow this tutorial whether you sell clothing, beauty, hair products, and more. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started, you'll want to open Shopify, then click Online Store, then Themes. You can customize your currently published theme. And here I'll be showing you how to add a page to your website. And I'll be showing you how to add a link to that page on the main menu and the footer menu of your website. Here inside your Shopify website, I'm going to click here where it says Home Page. Then I'm going to click Pages and click Create Template. You can title this page template, then click Create Template. Next, you're going to exit your website and click Pages. I'm going to click Add Page. And then you can title this page. And here under Theme Template is where you're going to apply that new page template. You want to make sure this page is set to Visible. Next, you're going to click Navigation. Then I'm going to open the main menu. And this is where you can add a link to that new About Us page. And then you can go ahead and open the footer menu of your website. And you can also add that page link here to the footer menu. Then you're going to go and customize your website. And here you will see those changes applied to your main menu. Later, I'll be showing you in detail how to customize your footer menu. And for now, I'll be showing you how you can lay out this About Us page and a few types of sections that you can add. Here, you're going to click Add Section to Template. And I'll be starting off by adding an image with text. This is most likely going to be one of the first sections that visitors see when they're on your About Us page. So I'll be customizing this section and adding a picture and including some brand introduction text. Once we lay out this page, I'll be showing you how you can customize each section. Next, I'm going to scroll up and I'll be clicking on this page title section and I'll be hiding that section. Right below the image with text, I'm going to add a multi-column. I'll just be using the columns. So here I'm going to remove the heading text. I'm also going to remove the button label. Under number of columns on desktop is where you can choose to increase or reduce the number of columns that you'd like to show on a desktop device. Right below this section, I'll be featuring a full scale banner. So I'm going to insert an image banner section. The next section is optional, but I'll be adding an FAQs section. There's a few different ways you can do this, but I'll be adding a collapsible content. When you click on one of these rows, under heading is where you can put a frequently asked question. Then under row content is where you can type in your answer. And here under icon, you can choose to apply which icon you would prefer. Then the last section I'll be adding to this page would be another image with text. And this is going to be an ending text section. So you can choose to do a shop all call to action. You want to be sure that your About Us page ties into the rest of your website and fits the style of the rest of your website. For this website, I've done a simple black and white color scheme and I've included a little bit of a light tan color. So I'll be incorporating this color palette into the About Us page. So when you open the About Us page, when you click on a specific section, for most sections, you'll be able to change the color scheme of the sections. For the FAQs a Classable Content section, I'm going to select to apply a row container, and then I'm going to go ahead and change the container color scheme. And that's how you can do the layout of your About Us page, and how you can style it to fit in with the rest of your website. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step by step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. All right, and now I'll be showing you how you can customize your About Us page. I'm going to start off with this image with text section. And here under image, I'll be adding a picture. Under image height is where you can edit the display of the ratio of the image. Then under desktop image width, you can also adjust the display of the sizing of the picture. Here you can choose to position the image off to the right or the left. And then you have a few different editing options for the content of this section, like the text and the button label. You can choose to center the text and the alignment of that content. You can choose to apply an overlap for this section that has the text and the button label. And next I'm going to click on the heading 
Here you can type in a title for this section. You'll be able to put this text in bold, italic, and you can insert a link. Under heading size is where you can choose to make the text larger or smaller. I'm going to click on this text box and here's where you can type in either a brand introduction text or a description to sum up your brand. You have a few different text editing options so you can select the text and you can choose to increase the text sizes. You can also, if you need, create bullet lists and number lists and you can select specific text and insert a link leading to another page within your website. And I'll be removing this button label. Next, I'm going to scroll down and click on this multi-column. I'll be centering the column alignment and then I'm also going to remove the column background. When you click on one of these columns, I'll be removing the heading text and here under description is where you can talk a little bit more about your brand's purpose and focuses. So here I'm inserting some text to describe the brand's focus. You can also choose to add a link to this text section. So here you can title the link label and you can choose to link this to a page within your website. And here is the display of this section and this will talk a little bit more in detail about the brand's main focuses. When you take a look at the mobile display of this section, it's going to show each column one by one. You can choose to click on this section. Then when you scroll to the bottom under mobile layout is where you can choose to kind of adjust the display of each of these columns. So you can choose to enable the swipe on mobile so that your visitors can just swipe through. Then I'm going to scroll down to this image banner section and you can choose to upload one or two images for the background of this section. You can choose to increase the image overlay opacity, which will make the overall image darker. And you can also edit the banner height, so I'll be setting this to large. You can choose to edit the desktop content position. This will represent this container with the text and the button labels. I'll be selecting middle center. And you can also adjust the desktop content alignment, which will reposition the text and the button labels. I'm going to apply a different color scheme to this section and I'll be removing the container on desktop. When you click on this header, you'll be able to go ahead and add a heading text if necessary for this section. For this particular section of the About Us page, I'll be focusing on promoting the brand's customer service priorities. You have a few different text editing options for this heading text. And here I'll be choosing to increase the size of the text. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the text description and you can choose to select this text and change the text style. Here you can put it in subtitle and you can also choose to put it in uppercase. And next you can choose to click on the button labels and you can insert the button label titles and you can select links for each button label. And that's how I designed the customer service feature banner. You can choose to play around with this section and here's how this section appears on mobile. When you click on this section, here under mobile layout, you can choose to remove the container on mobile which will put the text directly over that image. Then for the collapsible content section, you can choose to write a mini text caption and you can title the heading text. I'm going to increase the heading size. You can select to open the first collapsible content row. This way when customers are on this page, when they take a look at the first frequently asked question, the answer will be visible. So they'll know to click on each of these rows to get the answers. Next, I'm just gonna click on one of these collapsible rows and I'll be typing in the frequently asked questions and you can type in your answer here under row content. And here's the finished display of this FAQs section. Then I'll be clicking on this last section and for this you can do like an ending text section or a call to action for customers to go either shop your store, contact you or visit your social media. So I'll be uploading an image for this section. You'll be able to edit the image height and you can also adjust the desktop image width. I'll be setting the image height and the desktop image width to small. Then I'm gonna click on this heading text and I'll be adding my title. Under content is where I'm gonna add the description text. And last, I'm gonna click on this button label. I'll be titling this shop now. Then you can link this to either your all products page or your all collections page. Next, I'm gonna apply the outline button style. And that's how you can design the last section of your about us page. And of course you can simplify your about us page by just adding a few necessity sections. And here's also the display of this page on a mobile device. Next, I'll be showing you how you can customize the footer bar and the footer menu layout of your website. 
Here on Shopify, you're gonna click navigation. And here you can open your footer menu and you can add new links to your footer menu. I'll be adding a link to the all collections page. You can choose to add more links to different pages within your store. And I'll also be adding a link to the contact page. Then when you open your website and scroll to the very bottom, I'm gonna click on this footer bar. Then I'm gonna click this arrow. When you click add block, this is where you'll be able to add a link to your footer menu. You wanna make sure that this menu is linked to the footer menu. You can choose to type in a heading title. I'll be removing this text. Then I'm gonna click this plus icon and I'm gonna add an image. And this is where you can insert your brand's logo image. Under image width is where you can choose to increase the size of the display of your logo. And once you're done, that's how you can customize the footer bar menu of your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles. So they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.